Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Serrano. And look, we're gonna be taking a look at 11 new tips and tricks for the Google Pixel 6. I think these will be very helpful if you're the type of person who likes to take advantage of the most features that your phone has to offer. But make sure you stay to the end of the video and make sure you subscribe and get notified for more videos just like this. But if you're already a part of the crew, salute. So the first tip, we're going to jump right into it without any talking and anymore. We're just going to get right into the video. So let's just jump into the first tip that I want to show you. And a lot of people would find this useful because maybe they're driving and their phone might be locked or maybe you're on a bike and maybe your hands are occupied at the very moment and you just have your earphones in and you want to do a Google Assistant command. But sometimes what it is is that the phone won't let you get to the Google Assistant when the phone is locked. So I'm going to show you how to deactivate the um, that feature where it's not letting you use the Google Assistant when the phone is locked. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go into apps inside of settings. So go down until you see settings. OK, and then click apps. Right. So after you click apps, OK, you're going to go into this thing where it says assistant. Right. After you click apps, just go into assistant. It's the second one down. OK. And then you're going to see the top option right here where it says, hey, Google. So just click that one right there at the top. And this is what it's going to basically tell you is that access your Google assistant any time you say, hey, Google, or even if your phone is off or using your favorite apps, you could actually turn that on. So it'll say restrain the Google Assistant to recognize your voice. So you could retrain it too. So now when the screen is locked, I can actually use my um, my voice to access the Google Assistant when the screen is locked. So if I hold down the earbud and um, actually ask it to get to the Google Assistant and I ask it something, something on the phone, it's going to let me get to the Google Assistant without telling me that I need to unlock the screen. So I think that's something that's really cool. OK, so I definitely think that's something that you guys would want to take advantage of. All right. So the second thing that I want to talk about, OK, is inside of the same thing. It's going to be inside of settings and apps. OK, so you see this thing keeps popping up because I have my Google Assistant, my Pixel Buds connected to another phone right now. So it's just going to keep doing that. So I try. I apologize for that, but let's just keep going. We're going to go right into to settings and go into apps again so just scroll down until you see apps again click that and click default apps right here where it says general okay so you can see right here it says default apps caller id and spam app it says right here there's none so we want to actually put something there whether you want to use your own caller id app or spam app or from the play store or you could just use the phone uh, app as the default one but you want to change it to the phone app that way that apps that you know it'll allow you to identify calls and block robots from unwanted numbers and you want to change it from none to phone so at least you can uh, identify when somebody is calling you you can actually identify if it's a spam call or a robo call so that you don't have to answer it in, a, in a, an important moment maybe you're busy and you just you're in a meeting and somebody's calling you from a robot number you could easily disregard it okay so i think that's something that's really cool now the ninth the one the next feature i want to talk about right here is going to be a really solid feature and you go into system okay and this is going to be cool because you can actually go right here where it says multiple users right here and you want to activate this option because it's going to allow you to not only you're now you're, you're the admin of your phone so you you're, you in order for someone else to use your phone they have to use your pattern password pin or fingerprint but now you can allocate guests and other users from your lock screen as well so when you lock that and you just open up the phone from the lock screen you could you're gonna have the ability when you swipe down to get to your you know that that option where you can now click right here at the bottom and you can now select users from the bottom of your phone i'm running on android 13 so it looks a little bit different if you're not on there but you could get into more settings here as well you could add guests add users straight from your lock screen as well 
So I think that's something that's a really sick feature for people who have a, you know, a big family or just a household of people where sometimes people just like to you know, use your phone for a, a few hours. You can put it on the mode where they can't access your private information and then only um, the guest mode, which is gonna be the default settings and it's not gonna have any of the private information when you switch profiles, okay? So I think that's something that's pretty cool that you should definitely take a look at. Now, the third feature I mean, not the third one, but the next feature we're going to be talking about that's pretty cool is if you, um, I'm not sure if you guys were aware of this, but you can actually, when you're on your phone right here and you want to get to the selfie camera, you could actually do a double twist and it will um, switch it to the selfie camera. I'm not sure if you guys were aware of that, but you have that thing. It's inside of the gestures. So right here, if you see your phone is now with the rear camera, doing a double twist will switch it back to the front facing camera which is something that i find really really easy to get to um if you're if you if you're the type of person who just doesn't want to hit that button or something but that's just a, a really quick way to get from your front facing camera to your rear facing camera so i definitely think that's another really cool feature okay so we're gonna jump into the next feature but if you're still here just comment down below i'm still here and you're still rocking with me and kicking it with me i definitely appreciate if you leave a comment and say i'm still here down below so i know you're still rocking with me right but the next feature we're going to be taking a look at is if you double press the power button twice you could get to your camera from that option here so you just hit that twice and it's going to easily let you get to your camera real quick you don't even have to unlock the device it's going to let you just get straight to the camera that's a really fast way to get to your camera and then obviously you could make it so that you can change it to your private folder right here which i think is a really awesome feature and this option right here allows you to unlock it so that you can have full access to all the features on here so if you just wanted to you saw something real quick double tap the camera and i'm i'm surprised i'm not surprised but i'm, I'm really impressed with how fast that the camera opens with that so if you were if you were if you needed to take a quick photo just remember to double press the power button so that you could quickly get to your camera so you can get that shot that you're looking at right there so i definitely think that's something that's pretty cool okay so the next feature we're going to take a look at is found inside of settings okay all right so we're just going to go here down below inside of settings all right so after you click settings click uh system okay and click gestures next but one of the things you want you might want to do is turn off this feature that you know some people might um want to turn this off because a lot of the times when you press the power button it's going to get your google assistant and sometimes that you maybe you just want to remove that feature so you would go to gestures inside of system on your device okay so you click uh system and then you click the option right here that gives you gestures and then you you could go down until you see press and hold power button and now you can deactivate that feature so now when you hit the power button it's no longer going to be the google assistant it's actually going to be the real power button which gives you the ability to un unlock lock and even turn off your phone now so in case you wanted to deactivate that google assistant feature which i'm not i don't really use that feature a bunch but you may want to just turn your regular power button into a normal button instead of having that feature where it just shows up as the google assistant so hopefully that feature is very helpful to you guys because i know a lot of people don't like to have the power button as the google assistant but some like to have that option to have that power button um perform as their google assistant so i just wanted to throw that out there but another really cool thing that i found on the google pixel 6 that'll be really helpful for you guys okay is if you go inside of your um you know notifications so you want to go to settings right here one more time and then what you want to do is go into this option right here where it says notifications okay so the next thing you want to do after you click notifications right is go to conversations so you're gonna have to click conversations and then this is where i have to like um, I can show you some of the numbers right here so you're gonna see all the numbers that you were actually talking with but a lot of the times you may want to just um, add a default ringtone for a certain person so you click on the person that you want to set a default ringtone with and these are gonna be like some of the conversations you were having with other people you click on that right so this is where it will give you I just I activated that feature that I showed you guys in the last video tips and tricks so I'll turn that off but I'll leave the link down below where I made a last tips and tricks video but 
when you're in this setting, you could actually go to sounds, default sound, and now look at all these um, customizable sounds, pixel sounds, material adventure sounds, classical harmonies, min minimal melodies, reality bites, a ton of different ringtones for you to set on as your um, default ringtone for that specific person. So now you could set different um, ringtones for different people which I think is something that's pretty cool because you're gonna have a lot of options to choose from here. So I'll just set it at the default okay. one right there, but I can't okay. hear the other ones. I could only hear the, this one, but obviously you're gonna have a different sound now for this specific person. So I think that's something that's pretty cool. We'll just leave it at this one. I'm gonna hit save. And then when you're done, just hit save and it'll save that specific ringtone or sound that, so whenever you hear that, Pacific sound you know it's from that particular person when you're getting the uh, message or incoming call from that person it'll be that designated ringtone that you set for them and there's a variety of them so I think that's something that's really cool so another thing that I like to do when I'm using the Google Pixel 6 is a lot of the times I'll be using my phone at nighttime right and this is a pretty simple tip so you just want to use this one right here on the notification bar where it says extra dim and if you turn that on, it's gonna make it so that the phone's brightness lowers a little bit so that it's not as bright and, and, and hurting your eyes. And if you're, you're struggling real hard like me, my eye color is a little bit lighter. So I'm sensitive to light in certain scenarios. So I even turn on the night light mode right here. So then it gives it a yellow tint. And then it, obviously it has that bedtime mode where it can turn it to black and white as well so that you're not looking at the colors and it's not piercing through your eyes. So three different features right here for the nighttime for, to help you protect your eyes. I think these are really good useful features for the Google Pixel 6 if you're the type of person who is reading something on your device at a really late time and it won't really mess up your eyesight because of the blue light filter but it'll also give you the ab ability to go to sleep easier because you the some uh, uh, studies show that if you're looking at bright lights before you go to sleep it can affect your sleep so i just wanted to throw that out there but um, one more thing that i wanted to show you guys and i have like three more things so make sure you stay to the end of the video because these are going to be pretty cool but the lock screen features on this device are pretty cool so just go back into settings okay you could either go to display or you can go into um the other way to access this feature from the lock screen which is probably in system but i'm going to show you how to get to it through display so just go through right here where it says display and go to lock screen all the way down below so right here it says lock screen display and then you can see you could add users from lock screen from here as well but the other thing that i wanted to share with you guys is the control your, your uh, from your lock device external devices so you just want to turn that on from so right here you can actually control external devices without unlocking your phone or tablet and if allowed by the device controls app so when you turn that on you can actually like let's say you're listening to music on bluetooth and you have something playing like some music right here it's like some soundcloud right here basically what you would do is you would play the music that you want to listen to and then when you lock the screen you have the ability to click right here and change the option of what earbuds or anything that you want to use while you're listening to the phone so i think that's pretty cool that you could easily change those and it's going to be really quick and easy to get to this is these your um different apps so you got your spotify you got your other app for music right here that i downloaded and you have your soundcloud so those are some really useful features because you could easily change your bluetooth device or external device that you're using for audio on your device from the lock screen so i definitely think that's something that's going to be pretty cool okay so i just wanted to mention that feature okay because i think that's going to be something that might be might might appeal to you if, if you're the type of person who's using the google pixel 6 right so the next thing i wanted to show you is how to add your name on your lock screen so that when you someone else picks up your phone and you lose it they can actually call you so you go back to lock screen right here in display right 
then click display one more time click lock screen one more time and then you can add text on the screen so right here you could either put your email address or your name or your phone number but what I like to do is just put my name here so that I can um, so people I don't know I, I, a lot of the times people would put a phone number or contact information right there but you can see down below here it's gonna say my name C Butler right here down below which is something that I really like because it, it gives you um, the name of the person or any information that you want to put down there it's going to give it right there on the bottom so it'll have additional information in case someone finds your phone and they want to return it to you so you could also put like a secondary number even an email address or something like that so someone could contact you in the case that you did lose your phone so uh, this is the last feature that I'm going to be talking about so I appreciate you for staying locked in to the end of the video but this is a feature that's pretty cool that I noticed the other day when I was listening to music so it's basically on the lock screen one more time just go down right here go to display one more time and click lock screen right here and then you want to go down where it says now playing okay so basically this is where you would click now playing and you're gonna see that you can identify songs nearby that are playing right but I activated this feature it's an extra feature that they put on here to show search button on lock screen right so you click that and you it says um how now playing search works if a song isn't identified using on device recognition you can tap the search icon to search for the song when you search for the the you know i'm saying google receives relevant audio info needed to identify what song is playing so just in case a, a certain song wasn't showing up for the option right here where like you know how it records what song is playing in the background for you um, you can definitely turn on that feature now and you can control you could actually it's gonna have the the option to listen to the nearby song playing from the lock screen so if it identifies it a song the button will pop up on this the lock screen now and now you can actually search for it with that nearby button so I think I think that's pretty cool that they have that extra feature in there that you could turn on from here where it says now playing and then search a show search button on lock screen and identify the song that's playing make sure you just turn that on so you can get that additional uh, feature right there but hopefully you guys did find this video helpful this is the actual nearby um, thing that I was talking about where it's identifying all the songs playing in the background right but you know I'm saying these are the top 11 tips and tricks that I had for you guys right now but hopefully you guys did find this video helpful in any way possible but if you did make sure you show your support and appreciation and I'm gonna get right back with you but in the meantime have a great morning afternoon evening independent where you are have a great night Later.